Hi everyone and welcome to the description of RPG Gym. Uh, first, I must say that I strongly believe that the best way to become a better game programmer is to challenge yourself and really, really explore what can be done out there. Uh, as long as you're ready to give it everything you got, project after project, struggle after struggle, you will be getting better and better, you will be building yourself experience, confidence and new skills, that's for sure. Uh, all you need is patience, discipline, and then most of all, you need passion. Without passion, there is really no way for you to become the best version of yourself. Um, this particular project is part of my journey as a gameplay programmer uh, toward achieving this goal uh, the best I can. So I made this little gym, which mainly contains prototypes of features we can see in some RPGs and third-person action shooters mainly. Uh, it, it was a fun challenge, and I really learned a lot by doing it. So without any more waiting, here it is. Uh, beforehand, I have to say that most of what is shown here was done in C++. I used a few blueprints here and there for a limited amount of stuff, but as a gameplay programmer, I really had to do it most in C++. Uh, the first thing I want to show you are player animations. I did not work a lot with animations in the past, so I learned how to use animation blueprints, locomotion, uh, blends, and how to use them in C++ code uh, to get the final results that you can see here. Uh, models and animations are all from Adobe Mixamo. Uh, so, as you can see, here is the idle animation uh, when the player is not moving. And here we have a running an animations on all the sides, uh, which blends and adjusts accordingly to player velocity. Uh, there are also aiming animations, but I will show them a little bit later. Next thing on the list is the character creator prototype. Uh, luckily, Mixamo also gives access to skeletal mesh morph targets for some models. So I created a little editor here to prototype a character creator and use these morph targets. So here's my modifiable Joe. Press E to perform cool surgeries. So here I am. So let's give him a smile. Let's give him some eyes. I why not? I just put it all to maximum. And let's see what it's going to do. <laughs> so there he is. That's Joe. So if we exit, we can see that it stays there. And we have the new Joe. All right. So next thing on the list is the character screen prototype, which appears by pressing C on the keyboard here. On the left, we have the player's equipped item slot. So we have head, chest, weapon, and legs. Um, nothing is equipped for now, but we will do so a little bit later. On the right here, you have the player stats. Uh, this prototype has three main player stats, which are total strength, total agility, and total intelligence. Um, each and every one of them are affecting gameplay elements uh, that we will see later. Uh, same goes here for player resistance. Uh, we have two principal damage types, which are laser and kinetic, uh, and the player can protect himself from, uh, from this type of damage by equipping items. And also the base currency is credits, which can be used to buy and sell items. So, next thing on the list uh, are consumables. In this gym, uh, consumables are mainly potions, which will add stats points to the player. So let's grab a few. We have an intelligence potion here and a strength potion. Uh, this leads us to the player inventory, uh, which has features like uh, sort items by value or, of course, exiting the, in the inventory. And here you have the items the player has in his inventory. Uh, for additional information on inventory items, simply put your mouse pointer on it. Uh, this potion, for instance, adds one intelligence point to the player. 
And also, for every intelligence point the player has, he gets a 5% discount when buying items and can also sell them for 5% more. Uh, this is why we have base and final value here and the active uh, price modifier. Double clicking will use the inventory item. So let's do this. I now have one more point in the intelligence category. Uh, so now let's talk about player strength. Uh, the amount of inventory slots um, available is directly related to the amount of strength the player has. So if I have two strength points, uh, as it is the case right now, I will be able to carry two items. Uh, let's see what happens when you add strength. So I'll consume a strength potion. I now have one more strength point. And if I go back to my inventory, I now have three slots that are usable and ready to add uh, inventory items. So this is the way strength affects gameplay in the game for now. Now let's talk about armor sets. Uh, we have three armor sets in this prototype and each set has its own bonus in resistance. So the first one here is all about laser resistance. The second one here is more about kinetic resistance. And the third one here uh, is it's more of a an all around armor but with a reduced amount of, uh, of resistance for each damage type. Um, now let me show you what happens when they are equipped. So we have this one here. Inventory, double click, double click, double click, exit. And now there it is, it's on the player and the bonus is applied. As you can see here, the 20% the of the head and the 20% from the chest and the 20% from the legs are all applied right here. Uh, yeah, so uh, you can also unequip the items as you can see here. We'll unequip, unequip, and unequip. And they are back in the inventory. Next, let's talk about the general items merchant. Um, almost, if not all RPGs out there, have merchants and PCs to trade with, so let's have a look. Hey, sweetness. Alright, as you can see, there's a small conversation menu, and she reacts to your presence with the greeting animation. So let's buy something. This is a list of the merchant's inventory, so if you can spare the credits and inventory space, these goodies are all for you, man. So let's buy something right here. It's sick. And another. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Let's look at the inventory. There they are. Is it? So let's try to sell one of them. Hey, sweetness. Sell menu. Okay. One is sold. Bye bye. I am done. And this is how it works. So, next thing on the list is the crafting system prototype. Uh, so, the idea is that every armor set can be crafted by the player, So and in order to do so, uh, the player needs to use a certain amount of resources, and here they are. These are the raw resource resources, so let's pick a few. Let's have another one here, so better look. And there, okay. So this is the crafting station, so just let's open it. There it is. On the left here, you can see the amount of resources you have in your inventory. And on the right here, it's all about the craftable uh, item costs. So if I, if I wanna do, let's say a, a helm here, let's craft one. Now you see that it's added to inventory and it is the resources are removed from the inventory. So let's exit. So now, if I open my inventory, yeah, there it is. There's a helm, let's equip it. And there we go, we just crafted a helm. So this, this is how the system works. Now it's time for the pew pew part of the video. Um, I will show you some weapons 
Um, this prototype has two weapons for now, and one for each damage type, which are laser and kinetic. Let's see them. Let's begin with the laser rifle here. Alright, so let's reload. And here's what happens when you shoot. There is a bullet hole and particles coming out of the wall. It's the same for every surface. And there's some kind of light coming out of the weapon. So this is the first weapon. Now let's see the kinetic rifle damage type weapon. There it is. So this is more of a normal um, rifle type weapon. So these are the weapons. So now that we have weapons, we'll use them to kill some stuff. So I set up a small uh, spawning room in the back uh, to show and test AI behavior. Uh, so let's pick up some ammo refills in case we run out. Here's one. Here's another. They're pretty basic. So we should go in the back and see. So yeah, uh, the idea here is that an enemy will spawn from the hell door and walk to its starting position. And after that, uh, when he sees the player, uh, his initial reaction will be to panic and find cover. And after that, when he feels ready, he will give all he's got and try to kill you. So let's see. This is the first enemy, a kinetic resistant vanguard soldier. Uh, I now have the uh, kinetic uh, weapon uh, equipped. So we should see a 50 damage 50% uh, damage reduction on this kinetic resistant vanguard soldier, vanguard soldier. So let's see. You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of me, boy? Now let's move. him. Now he says move. Now he's going to come back and rain hell on me. He is. Ah, uh, yeah. You can see the player is uh, invincible for the video. Easier to test, show. Five, 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 and dead. So this was the first enemy. Now let's go to the second one. So this one is a laser resistant Vanguard soldier, so there will not be any damage reduction when using a kinetic weapon type. So let's see. You want a piece of let's see a full 50 damage. Move. Now he's going to come back. Okay. And let's shoot him. Bang. Bang. <coughs> so there we go. Two full 50 damage. So this is how the enemies work. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, it was a really fun project to build, uh, and I'm really looking forward to begin a new challenge and learn a lot of new stuff.